Hello everyone, welcome to This Not That, or TNT as we call it here at our company. This is a blog where we take a best practice and we contrast it with a common mistake that we see in the BI industry. Today we're gonna to be talking about the design canvas and a simple trick that will make your life a little bit easier. When you're designing the visual piece of the BI process, and that's that third stage, right? And into the fourth stage where we get into analysis and visualization. Usually you're gonna to wanna to apply gestalt design principles. Take the elements on the page and group them together so you can say these things belong together, there's a box around them. It's a simple way to let the brain know what's going on. I've discovered it can be kind of a pain to try and put a shape as a box behind each of the elements those objects are clickable, so if someone accidentally misses the chart that they want to click on and clicks on the background, it'll pop up in front and it, it can be messy. Uh, so what I'm presenting today as a very simple way to get around that issue is to use a single background, not individual shapes. You have the ability on your report canvas to place a background image that is not interactive. You can't click it, you can't do anything to it, it just exists. And when you do that and place the images on top of it, it makes it so that the only object of interaction is the charts and visuals themselves, which is what you want, because that's where you want people to be going and interacting with things. If you don't do this, what I have found is that you've got 10 or 12 colored boxes or outlines around things. And first off, it takes a tiny bit of computational power to bring those up every time it's opened. And secondly, they are interactive. So you're gonna end up with someone covering up the chart on accident because they missed by a pixel or two right on the edge of the chart and clicked on the object behind it instead. This is a very simple thing to apply. Go into the tool, there's a place in both of them where you can set up a background image and avoid the problems that come from trying to use individual shapes. Hopefully this will save you and your end users just a little bit of time and make your visuals more impactful. If you enjoyed the content today, by all means, leave a comment, let us know your thoughts. And if you have a best practice that you think you need to get out into the public and have them apply more, let us know. We would love to hear from you. You can follow us on social media or head to our website to learn more.